Hi guys, it's Ben again from Nerf Mods for Dummies. Today we're going to look at doing the Recon Mark II. The Recon Modulus Mark II has been released for a couple of months now. And this is the Australian version. It's also the, the version 2, the V2, that's been cut out to accept all magazines. Which you can tell that on, in the box by seeing the three dots. The version 1 has five dots. The problem with the version 1 is it will only take six and 12 shot magazines. It won't even take the modulus banana mags. So there was a bit of a mistake that was made on the first release, but it's been fixed in the version 2. Today I'm going to increase the power by putting in a five kilo spring that I got from Blaster Tech here in Australia. But it's also available through Orange Mod Works. The ships worldwide as well. As always, two tools, in this case two screwdrivers, to do this mod. First of all, remove all the accessories and attachments. Magazine. And deprime it as always so things don't go flying when you pull it apart. Okay, I'm going to start with the slide. This one here, unlike the Retaliator, does not have any hidden screws. Slide on the retaliator goes all the way forward and hides these two screws here, which is not an issue on this. The boring part, which you can fast forward through until you see me open it. And the stock attach attachment point to which is why I need the bigger screwdriver. Again, I use a yellow towel so I can see screws when they drop out like that. Should move this stuff off camera. And finish these off. So I get my spring screw blaster tech local here in Australia, which is www.blastertech.com.au. For Orange Modworks, it is www.orangemodworks.com. If you're based in America, it'll be a lot easier, but Blaster Tech will ship worldwide, but it will be cheaper if you're in America to already buy one from Orange Mod Works. Okay, get the part. And this one is a bit hard to get apart because there's a little plastic rod that runs through here where the jam door is, so it is very hard to get apart. So you will need to wedge it. Move it off a bit so you can see it a bit better. Slowly work your way around. And it will take a bit of force to get that bit off. So don't be afraid to give it a bit of... Is that one I haven't done properly? Yeah, I have. I haven't done properly. There you go. Too busy trying to look at it through a camera, I missed it. Right, let's see if I can get this apart now. And that is the resistance you'll find there. And everything's gone everywhere in it. Screws are still in this half, so we'll lay this here to the side. And that is that part I was telling you about, and it, there's a connection through here that is very stiff. So it does take a bit of force to get it apart. Right. Let's put, the, we'll take everything out, we'll take the trigger catch out, remove the stock spring, which is a little bit longer than a recon spring, but the spring still works. As per in the recon video, this lock here, and this lock here are redundant. You can remove those. There's just less stuff for you to have issues with. And there's the bolt sled. That's there, gone. That lock there, around the magwell, can go as well. If it wasn't wedged down around the springs moved. Oh, it's 
a good one to do a video on because this one's been tricky. It doesn't want to come out. I'm just trying to wedge it out of place now. I'm going to, you can watch me take it out, which all I'm going to do now is take out the mag release, get to this other lock. Mag release, spring return, unscrew it, get this all out, there you go. That's out now, so now I've got to put in this return again to hold the mag in place. Screw that screw back in. And the spring that pushes it back gives it the resistance. Push that in here too. God, this one's fun. Save yourself some time, buy a retaliator. Recon Mark 2 is just samples of Recon Mark 1. Okay, so we put the trigger back in. Return spring. Triggers back in place. It was back in place. Lock the same as the retaliator. You gotta lock that into the little nubs where the slide is. Put that back in place. Place it with the largest spring. And trigger catch. Bed the trigger catch in first. Punch your tube in place and you leave the spring hanging out a bit and replace the trigger. Honestly, buy a retaliator instead if you can. Put the attachment piece back in. There. And line up the slide and the body when you put it back together. The, sl the slide actually meets up the bolt sled. Crack, 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 it's all in place. Tightening it up. I'm tightening up the middle first because I've left the spring exposed and I still need to move the shell a little bit to get it in. Just wind it to get it in. And there it is, it's in. Line up the screws around it. Once again, this is the V2 of the Mark II, which the Retaliator is a copy of the Recon, and the Recon Mark II is a direct copy of the Retaliator. Which, like I said in the video, honestly, buy a Retaliator because you get better performance out of it than you will out of a Recon Mark II. And back on. Okay, 
one of the main reasons why you get better performance out of the retaliator over the recon is oh, this is a couple of screws. When that breech closes, you see the V shape in there. That that lets air escape. So it's never going to have as much power as the retaliator because so much wasted air as the dart gets pushed through. I don't know why that's been designed that way. But if you were looking at buying a retaliator orange modworks kit with a new breech, new bolt slot and everything else, one of these would be a good blaster to put it in. You put in two darts. And firing. Better performance, but in my opinion, you're still much better off buying a retaliator. You get proper attachments like a half a barrel and half a stock. You get a full stock, a full barrel and a 12 shot mag instead of this, this is very much budget pack they put on these. But anyway, that's how if you do have a Recon Mark II, easy spring replacement and lock removal. Once again, if you don't want to do the lock removal, if what you just seen turns you off doing the lock removal, remove the back cap, release one, two, three, say four screws, three and four screws. Get your screwdriver in, wedge it open a bit. If you just want to do a quick spring replacement. Pull out the stock one, which will be easier to do than this, because it's got the extra resistance. Pull it out, put your new one in. This is it, if you don't want to get in there and do the lock removal. I do the lock removal on all my blasters. Go one, two, three, and four screws. If you want to do the ultra easy version of the upspringing on the Recon Mark II, plus the stock attachment point screws. Always prime it just to make sure. Still shooting. Again, thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. I try to put them up every week to two weeks when possible. Thank you again.